Hello everyone, my name is Dee and welcome to my Pick a Card Tarot Readings channel and welcome to your soulmate reading. We are going to explore the energies of your past life, your current life and what all of that means leading into your next life with your soulmate, the journey of your love. There are four different couples to choose from. Choose the couple that is really drawing you in, the one that resonates most inside your heart to tell the story of the love between you and your soulmate. I will start with the first couple. There are timestamps listed for all of them below. Hello couple number one. How are you guys doing? Good I hope. We're going to start by pulling some cards. Uh, one for past life, one for current life, and one for what you and your soulmate are are working towards for your future life to come. All right, so we have Native American that jumped out. Um, in past life, current life, you guys could have Native American blood that ran through you, um, just both very spiritual. All right, there's that. Just kind of a little bonus message for some of you about that Native American energy. All right, so past life, we have the father coming through. Current life, we have Asia. And future life, we have authority figures. Okay, so past life energy showing with the father, you guys definitely had children together. You raised a family, you built a lot with each other. Um, I would say you guys were married um, for like all of your days. This is, I feel very traditional energy surrounding this particular lifetime. Like you guys uh, stuck it out together through thick and thin, a huge focus of family um, for your soul and your soulmate's soul for past life energy. For current life with this Asia, um, this is talking to me of a few different things here. First of all, there's an emphasis of your connection together um, really activating and awakening you guys in the soul. Um, you could be religious, but this to me is more of a spiritual energy. Um, you guys coming together, it's um, such a flow and your relationship is truly meant to facilitate a deeper spiritual awakening and understanding of self and life through each other. And in the future life with the authority figures, what you guys have been working towards, you know, past lifetimes, this lifetime, is because in the lifetime to come, you guys are meant to be in a position of power, both of you a power couple. Um, being known, um, leading nations, leading countries, you guys are going to be in some position of great power in your lifetime to come. And so through these lifetimes uh, leading up to this, that's what you're working on at the soul to prepare you for that. And it comes through your love as well as other situations and circumstances that you are experiencing. So let's uh, look at your past life energies. All right, um, this is, you know, a period like past life. So we're going to pull two for past life, one for you, one for your soulmate. Okay, right there. Okay, so one of you is coming through as a Taurus, and um, this is a, a builder and working on, you know, your self-esteem. The other of you is coming through as a Scorpio, and you were uh, working on, you know, really building yourself. Yeah, look at that. So with the Taurus and Scorpio energy, you one of you could have been a Taurus, one of you could have been a Scorpio, but you did not have to be that sun sign. These were just the predominant energies of your personalities. You know, uh, one of you very strong, very determined, working with their hands. Like I feel like construction or working on a farm, you know, something to do with labor. One of you was definitely a laborer but uh, worked very hard and built quite a bit. And over here with this Scorpio energy, the other one of you uh, was more focused on the emotional side of life. This person very physical, this person very emotional, very nurturing type of energy. And the two of you with this, 
you guys just shared the same vision of what family was about, what romance was about, and you built a lot. Um, I don't feel this is a lifetime where you guys, you know, had a whole lot of money and resources. This feels more like a, a humble uh, sort of living that I don't feel like you guys were poverty, but it, it's um, like not quite middle class if that makes sense and the timing of this feels like middle class wouldn't even apply as a term what i'm picking up and you guys were truly a team with each other one of you um, very masculine energy one of you very uh feminine it's like you had very traditional roles with each other and so this life in the present when you come together you guys flow you make a really great team uh, doesn't mean you never fight but that's one thing you're going to notice about um, your connection is you guys make a really great team and you seem to just get each other and understand each other and it comes from this life where you guys worked very hard for everything that you had and put your heart and soul into raising a family building a family it's not so much about building money and career like it's not to say this life you're not building money but it's the life to come where you guys are in a very high position of power of comfort um abundance so let's pull a card to look at you know where we're at this life journey okay so we're coming through with some virgo energy and this is about service and compassion it says, get involved, participate in life, stay present, notice and uh, value details, affect order in times of chaos, analyze, categorize, and create routines, be of service with compassion, venture forth despite fears, live in moderation. So this life for both of you, um, you both are still very hard workers, but there is an emphasis of paying attention to uh, fine details like what does it take to make love work? What does it take to make a family work? How do you keep the passion alive after five years or 10 years? And it's beautiful because the dedication that you guys had here, I see that coming forth in this life journey. Um, a lot of dedication and passion towards each other and building a life with each other here where it seems very family focused. Um, this life is more about awakening and spiritual growth that you experience through each other. doesn't mean that you won't create a family. Some of you will. Some of you won't. Some of you, I feel, are going to be a blended family this lifetime. And that may be an extension of learning how to be a really strong family unit. And here, where it was all created between the two of you, this life, you could have created a children with somebody else. They created children with somebody else. And you bring that together and blend because that's a, a different level of that teamwork of that um, family unit so some of you are definitely working on that or you are very spiritually focused like there's going to be a lot of expansion you bringing out the best in them them bringing out the best in you so let's pull a card for what you guys look like in your future life All right, so we have some Gemini energy coming in and communication. And um, this is uh, inquiring teachers. So yeah, you know, this is being in a position of power. You're communicating um, what you say, what you do. You're stimulating growth in others. Like you guys are leading a nation, I feel um, so strong. Like this isn't a small position of power you and your soulmate it's very high and you guys are equal in it coming through as this gemini energy so let's pull some more cards Transformation, reflection, and second chakra, the sacral chakra, the water chakra. 
All right, as a past life energy, this transformation, um, this just talks about the strength of this bond. There was nothing that could separate you guys. You went through a lot of ups and downs, a lot of hard times together in the past, but you always pulled through and nothing got in between your love. Um, I feel like um, there's generations like that are alive today that have pictures of you and your soulmate as like you know great 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 grandparents you know something like that like there's I see pictures of the two of you hanging in somebody's house and the tales of the two of you are shared have been shared down through the generations of the family like you that you are the ancestors here and the story of like your love and what you guys created for yourself in this lifetime that's coming through is very beautiful and it's part of a legacy of that bloodline to this very day, all right? We don't always incarnate into the same family, into the same bloodline. We have soulmates that we incarnate with every lifetime and some skip lifetimes. It just depends on what your soul is working on and where you're at. And so there's a legacy to the couple that you guys were in your past life in the in the family in which you um you know your bloodline continues on and you guys are a source of strength and inspiration what you accomplished and what you guys lived through with each other and now here in your present life with this reflection it goes back to this spiritual energy and so um, when we have a lot of soul awakening that's meant to happen with our romantic soulmate, this could mean that, you know, you guys go through some heavy challenges at times and those challenges create the pressure um, which activates each of you. You're here. It's like we're really building. Um, we're learning about family and strength and teamwork and partnership. And here it's a big focus on the soul and the soul connection and what you guys bring to each other. And with reflection, you both are going to cause the other to really think about things. You activate, you open each other, you take each other to, to different lands, all right? And here in the future, with the second chakra, the water chakra, your love is going to be just as unbreakable here as it was here. Um, but you guys have so much more like it feels more humble here like which the resources you have the way in which you live the house that you lived in etc and over here it's like the finest things in life you guys have and um it, you've been building like your souls have been building and working hard for multiple multiple lifetimes to come to this juncture to experience this life with each other where you are in this beautiful position of power but you don't abuse it you don't you guys are loved by whoever you're leading whether you own a large corporation um you are a leader of a country you know and there's so many things like a, a, a owner of like a sports team it, it's something bigger than that okay you guys are very well respected and admired and there's an element of love and compassion and emotion as well as spiritual consciousness about the two of you and that is why you are so loved you guys have been putting in a lot of work through these uh different lifetimes let's pull some more cards Right, so curses, sacred contracts, and cosmic lives. All right, so yeah, curses for this past life energy. You and your soulmate truly overcame anything and everything that was thrown at you in your past life. Like your love was envied, 
um, you know, you might look, if you knew this love story of you and your soulmate of past life, you might be jealous. It is such a beautiful, strong love. And I just see you guys together till the end, old and gray, and stories of the two of you still shared in the bloodline, the family, you know, your descendants. And now here in the present, sacred contracts, you guys are definitely meant to be married. Um, and you promised like that you, this, you guys would choose each other overall. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> you guys, I do see where some of you have created families prior to coming together, but with the sacred contracts, like when you guys meet those of you who have created, um, families with others, like you guys, your love overrides like every other thing that you guys have experienced with each other and um, so we are meant to be in love we are meant to be married this lifetime and if there were other loves prior to coming together like deep loves all of that kind of just washes away when you guys fall in love with each other this lifetime and um, with the sacred contracts your connection is always felt at the soul um, whether you meet and you're together till the end or you meet and you separate and you come back together like your connection is always 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 felt deep in the soul and here with the cosmic lives um that's just talking about what you guys are like building up to for this future life it's been a long time coming it's a lot of energy and you guys have done everything properly it's a beautiful uh, like there's no bad juju no bad karma here you guys are going to be in a position of power and very loved admired and looked up to and it's just kind of a theme right that i see going on here it is um like you guys people looking up to you um and the way that you guys love each other the purity right so reconciliation true love and healing family issues all right so this here is a, a blend of all the energies all right um, of past present and future life so with reconciliation that tells me that <clears throat> You guys have this promise to each other that you'll always find each other in every lifetime because it's like this is your true love forevermore. Like you guys are true love. And um, in the past, this was an unbreakable union. So I know that this reconciliation isn't about past life. This may come more into present life where um, because we're working on really activating the soul you guys may have a period of separation okay but this is your true love lifetime after lifetime and with that healing family issues um, that talks about how you are such an inspiration for other people like your love your commitment to each other um, you know the descendants in your bloodline of past life and even um you know present life and future life like what you guys leave behind is something very precious and sacred that you know your family looks up to lifetime after lifetime um you guys are very powerful souls and uh, in the past, you were, you know, heads of the family. In this lifetime, I see that same strength like heads of the family. And in the future, you're the heads of something much, much larger. All right. So <clears throat> let's pull some cards for past life and then um, present life and then future life. So we have Palace of Emotion, Seven of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. And so past life energies, Palace of uh, Cups, that's talking about emotional energy. You guys loved, your love 
was the greatest treasure you guys felt you had. The love and the family and the home that you built for yourselves was the greatest treasure you had. And you overcame everything that was thrown your way. All right. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune here and that Seven of Swords, you guys overcame everything. Um, the good, the bad, the up, the down, the sickness, the health, all of it. You guys overcame it. Like your love was that strong. And that carries into this life. So let's pull some cards to look at this lifetime. King of Pentacles. Strength and Five of Cups. All right, so you guys uh, are definitely activating each other. Um, with this King of Pentacles, I see you guys as uh, two strong, independent energies this lifetime. And then, you know, when you guys come together, you uh, may butt heads a little bit because you both are so strong and independent and wise. My goodness. Um, but with this five of cups and then that reconciliation energy, I do feel like, um, this represents, you know, where you guys are both with somebody else prior to coming into union and go through a lot of heartache there, or this is talking about how you guys will be in union and there may be something that drives you apart, but you, you will find your way back together because you're, it's like true love. And so the sadness through of the five of cups is part of that energy that activates the soul. But much like last lifetime, when you guys are, you know, on the same page, this love is so strong, like nothing can come in between it, not even the two of you and, uh, the things about, you know, you that drive them nuts, the things about them that drive you nuts, like you guys don't even, you, that stuff can't even, it's trivial. Um, once that love is activated, it's just like it was in the last life, and that's when I feel you guys get married, okay? Um, so with the king showing up as well, this is like a very mature um, so I feel like 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s is when this marriage happens between the two of you. And you might be, <clears throat> man, it feels so strong. Like you guys are married to other people before you meet this life um, or have a very strong, significant other um, before you guys meet. And maybe you both think like, I'll never fall in love again. And then you guys meet this life after, you know, those hard breakups and you're like, oh my gosh, you are my true love. You are where I've always belonged, where I've meant to be. And some of you, it may be that you meet very young in life. And then, you know, you go your separate ways. And then when you're older, it's like spirit brings you back together. But the um, spiritual connection is from day one. The, the moment you meet, even if we fuss and fight and separate at times, <clears throat> It's just, it's too strong. It, it's too strong to turn away from. So let's pull a card uh, to look at this future life where you guys are like a king and a queen, the emperor and the empress ruling a nation. So the devil, six of wands, and the star. How beautiful. You guys are going to be very hard workers, um, both really throwing yourself into this leadership, this uh, position of power, this power couple energy. You both are going to give a lot to that and six of wands with the star major victory and the star like you guys are going to be famous you're going to be known you guys are leaders you're going to be a huge influence and you know i don't so much see children in this future life i don't see that um you guys have been working on those family ties and connections and um, that type of energy past lifetime, this lifetime, and in the future lifetime, 
I don't so much see that. It's more about being in a leadership role. And you guys, uh, much like this here, are going to be the envy of many. Just the way that you guys are on each other's side, um, how y you guys get things done, the way that you communicate, the way that you understand each other. Um, even in this life, you guys could open a business together and be perfect business partners. Like it's that team um, player, teamwork, team player on the same side, um, being each other's biggest fan, being each other's uh, biggest form of inspiration and strength and that soul connection is felt immediately in both of you upon meeting this life and I do believe I just um, this reading you both are going to believe there are other people that are your true love or where you're supposed to be this lifetime and it's going to bring pain to both of you great pain when those relationships end and then you find each other and you realize you are my true love forever and always like um, I'm okay with the heartache and the heartbreak I experienced because I found you and this love is just a whole nother level and it comes from what's happened in past lifetimes and so I do feel so strongly that you both think like um, somebody else is your your true love and it ends and it hurts um, and you both spend some time, um, you know, single and solitary working on yourself, healing yourself. And you come into this King of Pentacle energy and then spirit brings you guys together. And it's the best love that you've ever had. And you guys will get married um, with this sacred contracts right here. And there will be no other and strength, your love, nothing will get in between this love once it's activated inside both of you and the healing of family issues when you come together it's going to be the final um you know stage of the healing process of the painful relationship romantically that you both encountered prior to meeting up this lifetime and you know the reason why you both were in these other relationships is to you know grow your soul there's something that these other people had to offer each of you um you know prior to you guys coming back together reconciling back together in this lifetime all right and then moving into the future lifetime you guys are like stars you're famous power couple building an empire uh, hugely admired and loved and adored and looked up to all right let's pull some final cards Love is the expression of God, goddess flowing through you. Love is a sacred union, a great creative power which, through the merging of two souls, becomes an exploration of the divine. And that is such a uh, perfect message for what you guys are working on this life with each other, is that soul activation um, connecting you into your higher knowing and wisdom. And, you know... Being, get, having your soul activated, you know, it does come with some challenge. You guys have a very beautiful, strong love, but um, I know that, you know, you guys are going to activate each other. And after all of that, you guys are just going to be in this perfect flow. And throughout each lifetime, it's like nothing can get in between this love once it's activated inside both of you nothing can get in between it and it's the source of your greatest strength and happiness um through all lifetimes here you guys are you know best friends team players lovers um and you will never love anybody more than each other period once you meet that's it you know who you belong with all right so those are your messages with that first couple i am sending you lots of love and light take care hello couple number two let's get into your reading and look at the love story between you and your soulmate over the lifetimes that you guys have shared with each other and the lifetime that's to come 
and the lifetime you are currently living. All right, James couple number two. So past life, we have Atlantis coming in. Current life, we have Greco-Roman. And future life, we have the mother. Okay, so past life, we have this Atlantis energy. And this could mean that you guys absolutely shared a life in Atlantis with each other, multiple lives actually. And um, also what I'm getting with this, if we weren't in Atlantis, this connection between you and your soulmate has always been much more spiritual based. In the past, you guys discussed philosophy, um, religion, different spiritual ideas and concepts, um, a deep love for humanity, a very wise, intelligent, expanded, evolved, enlightened beings the two of you were in this past life that's coming through and absolutely some of you, um, this could have played out in Atlantis. Here with the Greco-Roman in present life, a lot of this energy is pouring into this life, okay? With this, it's to me, I'm feeling that philosophy, that spiritual essence that pulls you guys together, okay? And then in the future life with the mother energy, um, you guys are going to be focused on building a family in your next lifetime. Like that's going to be the main thing that you have going on and it could expand much bigger where you guys are going to be um, the leaders of like a cause for children. It's just children are highly aspected for the future and it doesn't mean you don't have a family this life or in your past life, but in the life to come, you guys, and your love is going to have a lot to do with children. You're raising your own children, helping children, um, you know, bringing that spiritual light into the young minds, all right? Because you guys are very, very spiritual. Um, you guys could actually be um, like spiritually gifted, both of you. I feel you are um, like empathic, psychic mediumship and the connection that you guys have like you truly feel each other you almost feel like you are one in the same person at times in this lifetime with that energy so let's uh let's pull a card here um you know a past life to see what we were working on um like soul lesson wise okay so wow i'm not surprised to see this the humanitarian that goes right in alignment with this Atlantis energy, holding back so others will lead, um, folding the peer pressure to belong, appearing aloof in emotional situations, hiding from confrontations, overlooking the reality of things, using lack of knowledge to excuse inaction, getting lost in daydreams. Like this is what you um, were pulling people away from. All right. This is with the humanitarianism and this Atlantis energy. It's like you brought this teaching to others at that time you guys were evolved so none of this here applies to you guys and uh, the way you lived your life if anything um, you were like teachers in the past life um, trying to lead others to their higher self their intuition a uh, higher way of being loving knowing their connection to all things And in our current life, <laughs> look at that. You guys got humanitarianism again. Okay, so this here is going to talk a little bit about some of the things that you and your soulmate are learning this lifetime or expanding more into. Be objective, see the bigger picture, connect with friends and groups, involvement in beneficial group decisions, share unconventional ideas, advocate humanitarian causes, create equality and win-win situations, relate with others' uniqueness, belonging. So you literally have this Aquarian humanitarian uh, energy, past life, as well as this life. You both could be Aquariuses, or maybe one of you an Aquarius. Doesn't have to be Aquarius for sun sign. It's just that energy is quite strong. But this is who you and your soulmate are. You guys are a higher 
consciousness, um, very evolved souls, and a lot of your work, I feel, or, yeah, I don't feel like you guys, um, we all are working on soul evolution every single life, regardless of how evolved and advanced we are, but for you guys, I feel uh, this is more of a focus of helping others last lifetime this lifetime as well um, where you both really give um, you could do a lot of charity work um, one of you could be into like spirituality occultism metaphysics both of you could be okay it's just there's um this doesn't feel like a normal relationship to me. You guys feel, um, I want to say spiritual royalty. All right. You guys are, are evolved. There's no question. You are very evolved. I almost want to say crystalline twin flame type of energy here. So let's look at future life. Let's see what's coming through there. <laughs> we got Leo. Yes, you guys are royalty. Um, recognition, a fun, loving a child. Yes, Leo is the ruler of fifth house, which is about children. Okay, and I do see this emphasis on children, saving the children, helping the children. Maybe <clears throat> you guys in the future life are going to run an orphanage or open up some sort of school or um, have a lot of children. I it's just you guys are all about the kids in your future life um, for a better way of living, for a better experience. Um, <clears throat> and that just plays out. So maybe here we're helping, you know, the adults here. We're helping the adults. And in the future life, it's the children. There's something about the children um, where that's it's not to say that you don't help children here. But in the future life, like that's where it's all at. Um, this, I feel, is the creation of, you know, what was to come for humanity, all right? You were a part of that. And in this lifetime, you are um, carrying the torch from that last life work and activating and awakening and living a higher conscious lifestyle, this journey, um, both of you. And that's just how you guys connect. Like, you both could really be into, like, tarot cards, Reiki, different spiritual concepts, different philosophy. Um, you both are so spiritual. And you don't feel ordinary or normal. There's, I don't know how else to express this. There's something quite unique about the way you guys connect with each other. All right? And all of this that you did last life and what you bring this life you take all of that and it's focused in to children somehow, some way. Like that's where it's at. And um, this feels so fun. This is what you guys want. Like you're very happy in this, in this future life. Um, but you guys are like the uplifters, the healers, the teachers, uh, spiritual leaders. So let's pull um, some more cards. And you know what? Uh, we are ushering in the age of Aquarius, right? You are instrumental in that process. Both of you. The wisdom and knowledge of your souls is just phenomenal. All right. Transformation. Transparency. And time. Wow. This is card 41, 42, 43. So you guys have been working on this plan of soul for many, many, many lifetimes. All right. You guys have been each other's romantic love and partner through many, many, many lifetimes. And soulmates, you know, don't always interact through romantic pairing in every single lifetime. It's really about what the soul's trying to achieve each journey. And um, you guys are just these beautiful love connection, like lovers, um, but of a higher caliber, a higher spirituality. It's like you guys are this bubblegum, fairy tale, 
oh, you're my true love. That, that's not the vibe I get from you guys. Even though, like, at the soul, that's what I feel. Like, that's the, the depth of the bond between the two of you. Uh, the way that you both perceive each other in life, it's not that bubblegum type of energy. It's very spiritual. It, it's very evolved. It's mature. It's intelligent. It's articulate. It's um, classy. It, it's just... Oh, it, it's rich. Oh, and then here in the future with time, I don't know. You guys may be where you don't um, like you haven't been having children. All right. And it's time to have that experience with each other. You may have never had children. Um, that obviously doesn't apply for all of you. But this future life, it's like it's time to save the children, heal the children, awaken the children, have children something about the children in the future and you might even be starting that this lifetime and then carrying on that in your next life journey is something to do with children protecting the children activating um you know consciousness in the little ones at a very early age so they don't lose their ability uh, with their third eye like most of us do as we grow up right um there's just you and your soulmate bring so much spiritual wealth and wisdom into this life journey. It may very well start, um, you know, going into helping kids somehow, some way, just having a love for children. And then in the future life, it's just like that is where so much happiness comes from for both of you. So let's pull some more cards. It's like you guys are incarnating for more spiritual matters, shifting in age, bringing forth wisdom that maybe like the normal 3D aspects of a relationship isn't so much your guys' focus. It's more spiritually based. And I, and I just, I want to say like none of you have children this lifetime, but I know like this is general. I can't say that, but it just doesn't feel like that's the main focus it's like all of humanity is your children is what I'm feeling in these two um, past life and present it's like all of humanity is your children and then in the future life I focus specifically on those younger energies to help them evolve all right so you got transformation and transform for past life uh, it's crazy war and battles and teacher mentor look at that so perfect okay um transformation you guys are were instrumental and this is crazy this is card 41 and this is card 43 maybe in this life journey you and this is card 39 and um i just i like it because 42 43 41 and then we have 41 and 43 um, maybe in this life, like you guys meet, um, some of you like between 39 and the age of 43. All right. Because again, this feels very mature and oh, um, maybe some of you will have children with somebody else and not with each other this lifetime. Like you guys don't create, um, children together this lifetime. All right. Um, and that's going on in the future. We see that look at teacher and mentor with this emphasis of children so that's where your focus is um not on the adults but really um helping the next generation be enlightened um magic uh their spiritual gifts being really tapped in and tuned into that and here in the present life with this wars and this battles and the transparency you know and the two and look at 43 43 wow Wow, um, I like that number synchronicity um, in these two cards. But anyways, there's a lot going on this lifetime, right? Especially at this point in human history. And you guys are instrumental in that. Your opinions, um, your actions, the way that you help others, the way that you inspire others, your spiritual gifts, your natural abilities and talents is... Um, instrumental in keeping the energies as balanced as possible through this big time of change and transformation and here um, in the past life you got transformation twice so you guys are really helped 
um, to bring in that Aquarian Age energy in this lifetime. You are anchoring that energy in strong. And I wanted, um, I didn't want to get like go in super spiritual on any of these readings specifically, but this one, I, it just, I can't help it. Like you guys are psychics, you're mediums, um, Reiki magicians wizards you understand spirituality um occultism ancient teachings all of that a connection to atlantean energy that's who you guys are i don't see like i i'm trying but i don't see like what you guys are doing for jobs this life or how your money and income looks what i see is you two being very evolved advanced souls and the way that you love each other is like this higher caliber a, a frequency of love that not many can really tap into at this time at this point in you know um, humanity but you guys have that and this goes so beyond like that just that bubble gum fairy tale super romantic energy you guys just have this understanding at the soul and you communicate and you connect your your uh, connection is empathic almost like you are you feel like you are one in the same at times you and this person they are truly your other half you are truly their other half and that depth of your soul and the uh, advanced the like how advanced your consciousness is both of you <clears throat> is what really jumps out to me this lifetime and trying to help um, humanity come out of being so barbaric and dark with each other you guys are energy balancers you really bring the light both of you this lifetime and then in the future you guys are these beautiful teachers that just continue to lead humanity towards greatness starting with um, a younger group that because it's like you're working with the adults here and in the future you're working with the children all right let's um pull some more cards and these are can talk about um, past life present life or future life okay pay attention to the red flags calling in your soulmate and wedding all right with that uh, pay attention to the red flags coming in like for past life energy you uh, both of you really helped people be honest with themselves and come to the light and really change their ways like you with transformation coming through twice you guys had this uh, like magic ability to uh, make somebody become aware of self. Like, you guys were like sages or moggies or something, okay? That's just, um, you were in a position of power and people came to you guys for like advice, for guidance, uh, for spirituality, for teaching. Um, you guys could have been part of the mystery schools as well, which, you know, in this life, you're gonna be very drawn in to like the mystery school teachings, the forbidden wisdom, the forbidden knowledge, like all of that type of energy, because it's truly who you guys are. Um, this, we're always evolving and growing, but this lifetime, it feels more about shifting the age fully into the Aquarian energy and helping uh, maintain like a balance amongst all the chaos and clashing energies as the Piscean Age is totally torn down and the Aquarian Age fully comes to life. And with the calling in your soulmate, once you guys meet, like, it's your true love. And this could be where, you know, you guys are together, you know, and people are like, oh, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? And your guys are like, we're not doing anything. We're just, you know, it's just another normal day. And they're like, oh, how could you say that if you're in love and all this? And it's like... Our love doesn't need validation through um, like cards and flowers and candy and holidays and all of that stuff. It, it's like you guys are at a different level. You would share 
a like a really deep piece of philosophy with the other or um leave it like leave a note that says um I hope you have a beautiful day today you know it's not going to be like oh you're my sun moon and stars and I can't breathe without you because you both feel very independent in this relationship very strong both very masculine capable energies this lifetime like um these crystalline twin flames and I don't think people necessarily understand your love and connection this lifetime like they question like well why aren't you having kids or um, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? And it's like, we don't need to do that. We just need to exist with each other. That's enough for us. You guys just, how oh, I am dying because I cannot properly articulate the way I feel this. And I'm so sorry for that. Wedding in the future. Um, married again. True love again. Soulmate again. Uh, very respected couple and the way that we're mentoring the way that we're teaching these children what you bring to the world for the young ones in the future is you know very big and special and beautiful you guys are just a higher level soul and i think that's why i'm struggling with this is because i was not trying to pull in that energy but spirit's like nope you're gonna read what i put out there for you to read so um let's pull some tarot to look at the past life energy I just feel like you guys are something else star seeds light workers queen of cups seven of pentacles and the sun so this is past life and you know, Queen of Cups, very psychic. In this past life, both of you, very empathic, very sensitive, very compassionate, very intelligent. And you truly helped people like change and transform and turn their lives around and get awakened and enlightened. You guys are like wealths of wisdom. You're walking soul libraries this life journey. And you may wonder like, I'm different. I, I'm so different. Am I ever going to find my true love? You are because your true love is as different as you feel you are from humanity. That's one thing I'm picking up on is like you guys don't feel like you fit in with most people, either one of you. And it's because of like this level of evolution that you guys are. You guys are uh, teachers, watchers of humanity teachers of humanity lifetime after lifetime and you work with like adults but the future is more um based towards children the enlightenment like earth angels all right so let's look at present lifetime king of cups queen of swords and nine of swords yeah <laughs> So here you guys are this lifetime where we have this beautiful empathic connection and deep emotional bond, but we're both very independent of each other. And a lot of people don't understand that. You both are incredibly intelligent, um, strong, independent, built, wise, capable, um, which you both have gone through in this life. Um, I don't feel a lot of people could. You both were just like wise old souls from the start. I'm sure you've uh, been told that. And this Nine of Swords, I do feel until you guys meet in this life, you really will question, is there somebody for me? Is there, do I have a soulmate? Because everything um, romantically just feels so off until you meet this person because you are like, there's something different about you your soul and your soulmate and their soul like uh, keepers of humanity like that keeps coming into my head like keepers of humanity you you guys are not exactly human your energy your frequency you don't carry the same shadow 
energy inside you or your soulmate as most um, people of humanity do you guys transmute that you're help you're here to help shift an age and relate to each other in a much more spiritual capacity than the average relationship in the future we've got nine of cups the empress and the page of wands <laughs> Okay, so we got the mother and the child right here. We got the mother energy and the teacher. Yes, Spirit has made it loud and clear that next lifetime, it's all about kids. So if you and your soulmate don't have kids this life journey, um, just for whatever reason, it's definitely coming next lifetime. Uh, I see that for sure. My goodness. Um, I feel next life journey is more about the human experience for the two of you than what you guys have been going through in your past lifetimes in this lifetime like there's just this heaviness on your soul of healing of soul work uh, like a soul mission of humanity and what you are here to do both of you a much much higher calling so that may be why I don't see you so focused on like the schmoopy doopy aspects of love or like raising a family if you have kids I feel like you have them with other people and are done with that before you come into union because this is more about higher level spirituality work and gifts and talents and expansion than anything else and you and the soulmate truly feel as though you are each other's other half because you both are at a higher frequency. You have some beautiful soul with it, wisdom. You have this Atlantean energy. And so you guys may at times feel like your life isn't yours. Like just the, how deep you, you feel everything and your desire to help and heal this world. Both of you are humanitarians. Both of you. And then in the future life, that's when it's time for uh, family, kids, you know, and this is general, so you guys could have children, but um, next lifetime is when that really comes into view, and I see you guys really helping the youth and um, changing the world with your love. You guys are something special. Your love life will transform when you learn to truly love yourself just as you are. You are perfect just the way you are. Accept this and you will be amazed by the changes it brings into your life. So this is a message where you and your soulmate just kind of feel like, is there anybody for me? There is. You guys are cut from the same cloth 100% and you both are very spiritually advanced and that's why it's hard to really uh, connect with others in a romantic capacity uh, this lifetime is because of the level of your evolution and you guys are meant for each other and so when you find each other it's just like it doesn't matter the past you're happy to be back home with each other you feel like home to each other all right so those are your messages i'm sending you lots of love and light take care hello couple number three let's get right into your reading and see what spirit wants to let you know about your past life and how it relates to this life and where you guys are headed for your next life together your love story soulmate journey oh we've got male female that flew out so right away spirit wants you to know that this lifetime you guys are the opposite genders than you were last lifetime so if you are the feminine this life journey last life journey you were the masculine all right so let's see what's going on show us past life present life future life all right that's past life We got uh, persecution and inquisition. We've got Egypt for 
current, current life and food and hunger for future life. Okay, so in past life, um, this here, you guys definitely could have been witches or accused of witchcraft or um, some sort of uh, heresy, blasphemy, something like that. Like you and your soulmate went against the status quo in your last life journey. And uh, in saying that, you didn't do anything wrong. Like you weren't um, trying to stir trouble, create chaos, um, come from a place of evil. It's almost as though you and your soulmate were uh, experiencing oppression of some kind in this past life and you really pushed against it and uh, tried to create better for yourself and this may be um, where you guys were not successful in that, uh, you know, to complete that. So this here is deeply spiritual. Um, in this lifetime with Egypt popping up, I know that there is um, like mysticism, uh, magic, occultism attached to your soul. Like you were a sage, uh, a magician, a wizard, a witch, um, an oracle in your past life. And this runs much deeper, much, much deeper than um, like flipping some tarot cards, okay? This is uh, like you were a part of some sort of, um, as you would know, a secret society, a mystery school, the mystery teachings, that type of energy that you and your soulmate um, were a part of that. But of the light, spirit is making that very, very clear of the light because, um, you know, just depending on what you've exposed yourself to this life journey if you really want to get into like magic and um you know the wisdom of solomon and all of that uh, there's a lot of information out there it is not secret anymore and, and learn about you know amulets and talismans and how to create them and what they're for and all of that like you've learned that in past lifetime like you have all access to all that wisdom from past lifetime and you used it for the light and this life journey coming through with Egypt it is very much a part of you you and your soulmate are going to be interested in occultism uh, mysticism uh, ancient teachings of astrology of magic um, psychic mediumship palmistry reading crystal balls but this goes deeper it's much deeper than that um, you you uh, reached a certain level of like uh, because there's like stages um, when you're you're learning and you're working with magic there's stages right you re reached a very high uh, stage high form of evolution of understanding in this past life but um, it's like at the time you were learning this and really practicing this is a time in history when it was not acceptable, when it was really looked down upon or being trying to be wiped away from um, the consciousness of the collective of humanity. And so I feel there are some things that happened to both of you in this past life. And so in this life journey, you both could try to fight against your spiritual gift, your curiosity of... Um, the mystery schools and the secret society and what that's all about. Um, you could push against it because of what happened to you, what was done to you in the past life. But Spirit says you both are initiates this life journey. You're not the student. You're not the novice. You're not uh, just curious. You guys are true initiates. Like you have done a lot of work uh, for this soul evolution in past life and it, it comes into this life with you so I feel both of you um, this life are very in tune with energy intuition empathy all those things and you have uh, like deeper knowings like there's certain things about history or even teachings of astrology and uh, tarot and you're like something's off because if you really get into it um, you know, there's aspects of the tarot that have been switched around over the ages. And um, they say that that was done so that only the true uh, 
you know, magician, wizard could could see, could understand, the true initiate could um, decipher the meaning and the, you know, student or somebody who, the novice, they're not going to notice the inconsistency, the discrepancy in the story of the major arcana of the tarot, but you're somebody who would because you possess the true wisdom and knowledge and teachings of the ancients within your soul. That is part of your identity and who you are as well as your soulmate and it spills forth into this lifetime and in our future lifetime, food and hunger. Um, I feel your, uh, what you guys gain and awaken to this lifetime you carry into the next life and you're teaching people how to awaken their own spirit their own soul and uh, reading two had a very similar message so if you were torn between reading two and three it's almost one in the same like you guys are very spiritual beings both of you uh, in reading two <clears throat> and now in reading three as well <clears throat> so let's pull a card to look at uh, your energy a little deeper for this past life. So we have um, Taurus energy coming through with self-worth and the builder. You truly sought delight, the truth, the goodness in past life. And so did your soulmate. Like that's who you guys are, children of the light. Let's uh, pull a card to look at present. Okay, so we have Sagittarius with intuition, and I mean, that is so right on the money. Sagittarius is, you know, the higher learning, the higher spirituality, the higher knowing, and that's who you both are. You both are very intuitive. You will have a telepathic, empathic connection with each other because of the past life and <clears throat> what you both are, like the high priestess, the high priest type of energy. Let's look at the future life. Okay, so we have more, we have Pisces and more spirituality coming through here, a blessed healer. So you guys are going to help people overcome poverty, poverty consciousness, um, poverty in the 3D realm, poverty in the emotional body, poverty in the mental body, poverty in their spiritual self. Um, you guys, much like reading number two, I feel are kind of out of this world energies. You guys are like the spiritual teachers and leaders, the watchers of humanity that help um, move and guide and shift ages. And you have such a wealth of spiritual wisdom, the ancient teachings untouched, because a lot of what we can get our hands on today has, be, has been rearranged, um, certain things left out, things added in intentionally so that only the true um, initiate can see the message that is meant to be seen and that's who you guys are so uh, you may come across different spiritual teachers that are trying to tell you one thing and it's like it just doesn't chime in your soul whatsoever but you really admire and look up to this person and spirit says you've got to trust your soul because you are the master here um what you achieved in past lifetime, your understanding, like you guys were able to totally manipulate the elements, the true essence of what magic is. You guys performed it and it is a part of you still in this lifetime and you awaken to it in this lifetime and you are going to teach it. Um, and so you and the soulmate, you guys are only uh, going to be able to fully fall in love with each other. It's not to say you won't love others in this life, but because of what you guys are, you are the perfect fit when you finally meet this lifetime. So let's pull some more cards. Time. In your past life, you both wish that you... Okay. Okay. So, what happened here is... 
I feel one of you had this persecution and um, the other one of you was left feeling like we never had enough time together um, and never like never got with anybody else for the rest of their days like you guys are, are true love um, current lifetime we have forgiveness and future lifetime we have reflection so you guys are great teachers in the future life of spiritual uh, matters of magic of ancient teachings like that just follows you from one lifetime to the next like that's who you guys are and in your past life you feel like you guys didn't have enough time to be with each other and um, you know with forgiveness in this life journey uh, because you both are such deep souls um, it may be hard at times to fully express fully open up to each other there's just so much fear of what happened like it's um, imprinted in the soul and so in this lifetime when we meet it's such a beautiful perfect fit that it might spook you guys a little bit because you just feel you know you're gonna have connections and you're gonna love people but uh, you just always kind of feel like you're on the out like you are a black sheep trying to hang out with all the white sheep okay and saying the black sheep you're not bad you're not negative you know how they say I'm the black sheep of the family I don't mean it in that capacity that's just the first thing that came to my mind is like you know when somebody says they're the black sheep of the family you feel like you are a black sheep of humanity because even though you can connect and you love where's my one where is my person and so when you guys finally meet um, it, it's a little scary it's like is this too good to be true like we just get each other we um, gel so good to each other that I feel um, you guys might have a little bit of like back and forth because we're both a little skittish when we come together this lifetime and it was very painful for the one who had to keep on living here in past lifetime is very painful for them to be without their soulmate whether that was you or that's your soulmate like one of you really really struggled and so when we meet this lifetime there may be an imprint at the soul of fear of loss you're gonna leave me you're gonna go away from me and so we have some trust issues that we're going to be working on when we first come together in this lifetime. Um, but also with the forgiveness, when you guys fall in love and you, and you finally just like accept that, yes, this is real, it's going to bring so much forgiveness in your heart for uh, feeling so alone or on the outs of things, the outskirts of other humans, of life, of living. Like, why am I so different? Why don't I fit in? What's wrong with me? When you guys meet and fall in love, it's going to bring forth so much forgiveness and it's just a wash of your emotional body because it's like together, it's, there's an activation that happens in each one of you and you have this recon, uh, recognition of the depth of spirit that you both are and um, where you come from and what you possess at the soul and so you guys are a very beautiful couple when we stop fearing I, I don't feel like that's a big like you guys go back and forth for years but I do feel that it spooks you both a little bit when we meet this lifetime because you are such a perfect fit for each other compared to what you're used to experiencing and um, after we meet then it's like okay everything's all right I'm all right with my life because I have you and you are truly where I've always belonged and you're gonna just know that you've loved them for lifetimes before like you're gonna know it you're gonna feel it in your heart and um, in the future life it's the same energy you both are these masters of spirituality of magic of consciousness and you are going to continue to teach others but you may be in a um, in a more position of power you're really going to help people overcome the lower aspects of themselves and their energy and what keeps them attached to lack and unhappiness you both are beautiful healers such strong energy all right let's pull some more cards
Medical Library. <laughs> are we surprised to see that for past life? No, you guys are wise beyond anything I've ever read for sacred contracts for this lifetime. You guys are definitely meant to be married. And look at that, Halls of Amente for future lives. Um, you guys are spiritual. What more can I say? You guys are... The true magicians, you have magic. Um, you know, there's a lot of people who claim that they're witches and wizards and they've just read stuff about the law of attraction and they um, know how to do a candle spell and they're like, I'm a witch or I'm a wizard. You guys know the real deal of what that truly entails and the spiritual discipline it takes and what it really means when you're working with magic and you're working with the spirits, okay? Like you guys know the depth of that and um, a lot of people claim to be, but you guys are the real deal. You and your soulmate are the real deal, okay? From your past life, you have it here persecution inquisition because the oracle library you are like the chosen ones to contain the um wisdom the light of all ages without it getting corrupted you will never corrupt the truth you will always hold the light till the end okay and that's why this persecution because you refuse to go to the dark you refuse it and same with your soulmate Absolutely, your powers, your uh, knowledge of magic, you have only used it for the good, for the light. And not a lot of people can say that, uh, that have worked with the energies of the magic. That's why I'm saying it requires incredible spiritual discipline and strength. And you guys have that. In this lifetime, um, when you come together, I found my perfect half. It's a little bit spooky, but you guys will overcome that and you activate each other and you just know, you just know. And there's things that you will only share with each other that's because of the, the essence of the spiritual knowing and understanding of who and what you guys are and sacred contracts. You are meant to be married this lifetime and in future lives, the halls of Amente, you know, the teachings of Thoth and you guys have that wisdom within you. Okay. Um, the Order of the Magi, um, the Eastern Star, there's uh, just so many different uh, names of the like mystery schools out there, but that's what you guys are, and it's last lifetime, it's this lifetime, it goes with you into your next lifetime, like you guys are uh, spiritual workers, earth angels, um, have a higher calling, higher soul mission, and you know, you guys may not even come from uh, the birthing of the collective consciousness of humanity that came forth from spirit after, you know, uh, different times in the creation of the cosmos. Like, you guys are outside of that creation. Like, you are, are it's like you, you work with spirit, the angels. You're not a normal human, not at all. And that's why you have always felt like an outcast, the black sheep, I don't fit in. Because you, you're not like a normal human. You, you've you evolved way beyond that. You are here to bring light, to bring teaching, to bring understanding. All right, let's pull some cards um, to look at this past life energy a little deeper. The magician. <laughs> It just won't stop. There you are. More, more confirmation of you and your magic and temperance. That's the alchemist, right? Uh, the one who knows how to manipulate and control the elements. Here you are. Magician, temperance, and the knight of swords. How to, ooh, how to speak things into being. That's you. So spirit just totally confirmed um, what we picked up on about this past life is you guys are uh, totally um, not normal past lives like you guys are spirit workers 
you have been you are this life you will continue to be like that's the purpose of your soul and you might be like oh that's boring I, I don't like that but you're something special like you guys are a different energy than the collective consciousness of humanity like you were uh, extended from spirit at a different point in the uh, creating of the cosmos like you're um, you probably help facilitate in that creation okay like you are a helper of spirit a spirit worker you operate of a much higher frequency and and what's within you that the wealth of knowledge and light oh my goodness all right let's pull some oh and look at who was on the bottom the magician before I started to shuffle let's see about this life journey you and your soulmate the Hierophant, Ace of Pentacles, and the Empress, yeah, it, right there, so uh, another confirmation, and look at, I just was like, I gotta just pull a couple more cards, just to see, just to see what else, we got the High Priestess and the Star that would follow this, so yeah, um, for sure, this is a commitment, um, you and the soulmate getting married this lifetime, okay? But also, here it is, where you guys are spirit workers, okay? One of you very strongly with matters of the soul, of the spirit, and others of you, or the other of you, is a healer. So a spiritual teacher and a healer is who you guys are this lifetime. And coming through as Major Arcana, look at that. Okay, so, um, and I do feel that both of you at some point will most likely um, have a spiritually based business or practice and that's how you will be generating your income, okay, is um, by teaching magic, doing energy healing, um, doing readings, bringing forth uh, channeled messages from the higher realms, you know, you name it, you guys are doing it here and I feel at some point you both definitely end your current careers and create a spiritually based business with each other and probably like another mystery school to be real where you're teaching um you know the lessons of the ancients of you know spirituality and magic and what life is really all about all right um but uh when we get married here you guys are married for life for life and just very spiritual energy as uh, you know past life so let's look at how this extends into your future life journey and your love for each other truly truly is healing and when you find each other with that forgiveness it's like you forgive spirit for the loneliness that you felt up to that point. Four of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. And the Fool. Okay, so in this future life... Um, you guys just continue your work. It's really like past life, this life, future life is very much similar. Um, you're just doing the same thing and your love is strong. Like you're not going to think that um, there's anybody above this soulmate and this soulmate is not going to think there's anybody above you. Like you guys are going to decide, you know, we're each other's true love. And nobody can steal them from you. Nobody can steal you from them. Because the way that you just get each other. Oh, it's like you were birthed from the same star. The two of you. Express your love. Free yourself. And worth waiting for. 
So this is uh, about this life and um, you both, I feel, kind of swear off romantic relationships before you guys come into union because it's not, you know, that I feel that you guys get burned and screwed over in all these relationships prior to each other. You just know you're cut from a different cloth somehow, some way. And it just it frustrates you at times like, why can't I find somebody with the same depth as me or the same curiosity about life? Or um, why are you just take everything that somebody tells you? I don't, it's you, your mind and the way that you work is exactly like your soulmate, okay? And it's you guys come from somewhere else, from something else um, than the way that the human collective was brought forth from spirit okay and because of that um you do you you are a different vibe than the average person and you recognize that and you might think like oh something's wrong with me but when you meet this soulmate you realize no i'm perfectly made we're here for a mission like we're angels incarnate because look at here two angels worth waiting for so when you guys finally come into union, it's like that's the, what that forgiveness is about. Where it does the past doesn't matter. What we've been through, the loneliness, it doesn't matter. We have each other. And you guys love each other so much. All right. Um, and in the future, you are healers. You are teachers. You are leaders. You got that food and hunger in the Four of Pentacles. You're going to really teach people how to transmute their energy and walk away from um, like ancestral curses. That's not exactly what I'm looking for, but it's like um, the bloodline, the bloodline we're born into, like there's karma attached to that, all right? And you guys um, are teaching people how to transmute that. And this lifetime, the reason why you're gonna be able to teach that next lifetime is because you guys transmute it. Like you, uh, perfect the formula this lifetime of how to heal those ancestral um, wounds, those ancestral wrongs, all right? And the fool, like you are going to teach people how to really clear their karma so they can fully ascend or they can finally ascend. And so you're going to start doing some of that work towards the end of this life journey. And then it's full force next life. So you and the soulmate, you guys are uh, from a different higher dimensional realm and you truly are spirits um, workers. Crystalline twin flames, very similar to um, the second reading. And when you guys meet, you, you finally feel complete and whole. I am forever grateful for your loving kindness and for the joy you bring to my life. You are a gift from the eternal heart of love, a blessing from the most benevolent universe. Yes, that is how you feel about this soulmate and that is how they feel about you because you both are earth angels and so it's hard to relate and connect to others romantically and then when you meet each other it's the greatest love of your life like you guys are something special so those are your messages i'm sending you lots of love and light take care hello couple number four let's get right into your reading See what spirit wants to bring through about your love story journey through your lifetime, your past lifetime into this lifetime and where that's leading into your future lifetime. So we'll pull one card for each and what do we have? Finances. So I'm going to actually keep that out. Um, I'm feeling like this has a lot to do with each lifetime, but it's more pertinent to this one. So we'll just leave that one out. Past lifetime is the arts. Current lifetime is transportation. And future imprisonment and slavery. All right. So you 
and your soulmate were definitely uh, well to do financially in your last lifetime and this could definitely be the case for this life journey as well like you guys are meant to be very comfortable financially all right that's uh, for sure but with the arts in your last lifetime you and your soulmate you met through um, like some sort of shared uh, gift or ability like uh, maybe you were both singers uh, writers, artists, um, you know, there's so many different ways that our creative energies manifest themselves, right? But you guys are definitely more of the artsy types in this past lifetime, and that's um, the way you guys connected. It wasn't, uh, and, and when I say artsy, it's like, this is a, a more genuine type of connection like you both really had a deep appreciation for something and I feel music really strongly um, you know for you guys as like a singer songwriter um, like a musician playing an instrument um, composing music you both had like this deep passion for um, your gift and talent that you had and you both have it okay it's equal like you both had it and you met in that industry together in your last life and you both made a lot of money um, with your talent and your ability and this lifetime with transportation um, you guys are meant to do a lot of traveling and seeing the world but also this could be where you guys are going to be born in uh, different countries or you guys meet each other at a time where you live in um, different locations with a big distance between the two of you all right but um definitely meant to see the world and I feel like the location in which um, you guys originally meet is not where you guys end up settling down and then into the future life with imprisonment or slavery that to me what I'm feeling is there's been uh, certain energies in this past life and as well as in the present that you've had to deal with that like held you back from your highest potential for your highest greatness um, like maybe fear of failure uh, perfectionism not believing enough in self or in gift so even if here in this past life you were uh, top of your game for whatever this uh, gift is you still thought yourself not good enough all right um, you thought yourself if I could just be do this a little bit better even if you were the master at it there's this element of perfectionism and um, fear to take big 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 risks and because of this life and because of the life you're living now in the future those barriers are no longer going to exist for you this lifetime there's a, a big emphasis of healing old energies old karmic energies um, and I don't feel these energies exist specifically between you and your soulmate but through the coming together in this lifetime through your love it's a very healing union this journey for you guys okay when you meet and you fall in love you find a lot of solace and healing and comfort and trust in each other which is uh, part of the healing required to totally break you both free of these restrictions that have held you back um, from your full potential and in the next life there's just no stopping you guys but um, you know you were very well off in the past life and this life you guys are definitely meant to um, manifest this fortune for yourself once again through your natural talents and abilities and in this life there is some sort of gift that you possess and that your soulmate possesses and it's very natural raw talent and because of this you know that might be the confirmation you need to really give your gift life in this journey because you were probably famous very well known in your past life and you will only be bigger and better at it this life journey all right so let's uh, pull some cards um, some more cards and we're going to start with um, like the past life energy past life look at that Aries independence and uh, 
this here is very significant um, you know for this arts because anybody who's out in the public eye public spotlight is always has uh, some strong fire in their chart or is a fire sign or has strong fire in their chart because that is the energy of the solar plexus chakra the sun where we push forward where we are ambitious where we build our empire where we um really round out and smooth out our natural gifts abilities and talents like you were a star in your past life so was the soulmate okay and it could be um, you guys played in movies, actor, actress. Um, I do feel that strong emphasis of music, but, you know, this is general, so it can really, like, branch out, right? But you both, I feel, were famous here, especially with this Aries energy. A lot of people knew who you guys were, and you um, created a lot of success for yourself in this past life, but I feel like you never thought you were good enough, even though you were the best at it. All right, so let's pull a message for this current life. And that's my kitty back there playing with something. I'm not sure what. So if you hear some rattling, that is Mr. Jean. I think he's trying to chew up the box that belongs to my computer, actually. Yes, that is what he is doing. Okay, so in this life... We have Virgo energy and service and compassion. So even though you and your soulmate are meant to do a lot of traveling, and you know, this life, you guys could be famous once again. My goodness, like going all around the the country, the world, showcasing your talent and ability. Um, that could be what this is about. But with this Virgo energy coming through, um, this feeling of I'm not good enough, is I feel stronger this life than it was last life and spirit wants you to know that you are amazing at your gift your ability just as amazing at it as your soulmate is with their gift and their ability you both are um, artistically talented very creative artsy deep deep souls both of you but there's this element where I feel you both don't see uh how amazing you and and talented you are but when we come together you are going to be the greatest inspiration for each other and really helping the other grow that talent and push themselves forward and be willing to take a risk and vulnerable and all of those things to to get out there and what we accomplished here in this past life i feel you are um recreating in this life with this time and this day and age but in a much much bigger capacity and you guys coming together is instrumental in uh propelling both of your successes okay you guys are um the greatest strength the greatest inspiration for the other Pull a card for this future life where we have absolutely no restriction on us. Oh, nice. Look at this. You've got spirituality coming through. Um, the blessed healer energy. So all things that hold you back, <clears throat> that have held you back, you are going to overcome this lifetime. And this goes lifetimes back. Same with your soulmate, okay? This lifetime, you guys are overcoming a lot of those lower vibrational energies, karmic energies, because you're meant to create amazing success um, together this life and be quite comfortable and well off and into the next life. It's like all these restrictions, you won't have them. You guys are going to be very free, very enlightened, very awakened beings. And I feel the evolution you receive this lifetime, you take into this next lifetime and you're going to help others. Whereas here and here, we are incredibly talented at some gift. Here, we're now the teacher, the master to others with that gift. And that's interesting because in all four readings, now, this next future life, I see a huge elevation in 
status in life. Um, so I don't know what that's about, but that has been similar for all four of these readings. Um, so this lifetime for all of us must be incredibly instrumental in shifting the age of humanity so that the next incarnation for all of us is a much higher level experience, okay? And you are going to be um, a leader with this talent, gift, and ability that you possess, like recruiting people, helping them um, expand their raw natural talent, things like that. Like there's no no um, hindrance. You and your soulmate, it's like these past lives leading into this one, you've been working towards mastery with whatever this gift is that you both possess. And this life is like the, the final fine tuning of that energy leading into the next life where you guys are the master, the teacher. <coughs> Honesty, attraction, and sensitivity so past life you guys had a very open honest loving supportive relationship and in this life there is going to be a lot of attraction chemistry and sparks and this attraction for you guys is mentally emotionally spiritually and physically across the board and you guys fill each other full and there is nothing that you lack and there's nothing your soulmate lacks. Like you guys feel like the perfect pair when you guys come into union and you really help each other realize your own greatness and talent and ability. Because um, it's like, you know, somebody who is very attractive, if they have an incredibly beautiful heart, they're not going to realize how attractive their energy is, right? How beautiful they are to others because of the way their heart just glows and shines and shows on their face like they have no idea how beautiful they truly are and that's what I feel for you and your soulmate is you both are so freaking talented and you don't have a full understanding of the master that you are becoming in this lifetime with that talent and that ability both you and your soulmate and you are each other's cheerleaders there is such a beautiful magnetic attraction here I do feel you guys meet like at a distance and this attraction pulls you guys together and it's like nope we have to live in the same location no matter what we'll do whatever it takes and I also see you guys I'm um, like traveling the world together and then in the future with that sensitivity and the spirituality um, you guys are masters you're in positions of power and leadership of you know this talent this gift spiritual matters um i see you guys as like these wise old sages in this life in the future life like that's what you're incarnating as is these just wise old sages and there's no restriction there's no barrier on you um and even though like i see that you've had money past lifetime you're meant to have good money this lifetime in this future, um, I feel like this isn't as significant for some reason. And it's not to say that you're gonna be poor or struggling, but like physical abundance, the thing called money, it, there's gonna be something different about it in this lifetime, all right? And it's like, you might be um, instrumental in that, like removing the imprisonment and slavery that uh, the humans have to the money system, maybe something along those lines. I just feel like this, the finances, is not as a significant thing in this life. It's more about spirituality, humanitarianism, bringing people into their natural gifts, abilities, and talents, love, and healing, and spirituality, and like the higher mind is what I see your journey like in this future together. Okay, let's uh, pull some more cards. And you know, maybe that's what this is about, how in all the future lives I'm seeing just this much higher level of consciousness. It's 
the shifting of the age of humanity as a whole. All right, so we have between lives, past lives, and magic and alchemy. <clears throat> okay, so with this lives between lives, you and the soulmate um, not only have had many, many lifetimes together, you spent quite a bit of time as pure consciousness. The two of you connected from this past life before you incarnated into this life. So um, this would be like a few hundred earth years past between these lives, okay, where you guys were evolving and growing as pure consciousness rather than incarnating into the human form. So there was a, a very long period of earth time from your last incarnation to this one. And so that's why past lives is showing up for right here for present is uh, because you're like picking up where you guys left off here, but it's almost as though uh, coming back into the human form, into the human body is a little rough this time around because there was so much time in between. And um, that might be why you guys are so hard on yourselves and such perfectionists because of that, you know, pure consciousness, the purity of your vibration when you came in, like you just, you have this knowing inside of you of like the true magic of things and in the future life with the magic and alchemy that's where it's like the world is a different place these future lives that spirit's bringing through and it's like money doesn't matter anymore and it's all about spirituality and our connection as you know a human family and that's where you're focused and so there was a, a very long uh, gap of time from this incarnation to this incarnation. And so um, in this life journey, you both feel a bit more like a free spirit to me than like the average person. Um, you guys both are moved by the inspiration that flows through you. And so... Um, you know, you both could go through periods of time where we feel very blocked. Um, you know, emotions could go up and down. You both are very, very deep. But this life is a continuation from this life. So being uh, famous for this gift, talent, and ability is meant to come through in this life. And if it's not fame, you are making a lot of money at this okay because it's a continuation from this same with your love like it's such an honest true connection here between the two of you and i think you both work very 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 hard and that's why we had such a long period of earth years before we came back in again into this journey and uh so it's like this life we're picking up exactly where we left off and um there's a big completion in this lifetime when it's time to go back to the non-physical and like you guys may have another long period of earth years before you come back together because of this where I see this whole new world uh, that's nothing like what we know right now today. All right, let's pull. Um, some romance angels. Honeymoon. Stay optimistic about your love life. And pay attention to the red flags. So um, with the honeymoon and uh, the stay optimistic about your love life, that to me again is like you you guys meet at a distance in this lifetime. Somehow, some way, like you meet at a distance and the connection is just so strong. Like that's what's going to pull you together. You guys will be in the same location. Um, but honeymoon for past life, like you guys were very much in love. Um, in this life, uh, you may kind of be wondering if, if like you're ever going to find your true fit um, until you meet them. And when you meet them, same for them, you're like, oh my gosh, you were worth the wait. I'm so happy. 
I found you because you guys are kindred spirits. You're going to have a very, very special connection. And moving into the future with that, pay attention to the red flags. That's like so much of what we know to be the human life today on this planet. It's going to be a whole new world um, when you guys incarnate again together. It's going to be a whole new world. Like that red flags, imprisonment, and slavery, like that's gone. And the, like the money thing is, is a different, like a different form of currency or, or a way of uh, energy exchange and trade. All right, let's pull some cards for past life. Three of Cups, Ten of Wands, and Seven of Wands. Yeah, you guys uh, were very well known for your talent and ability. Um, you were celebrated. You guys had a lot of fun, but you worked really, really hard, and that uh, was a bit heavy on you. It really took a toll on you towards the end. Like, you both worked incredibly hard. Hard, and I think at some point you may have wanted to get out of the spotlight, but you were not able to. And so that was a bit of a struggle. And that's another reason why you guys uh, took such a break between physical lives is to really recuperate um, from all the energy that was expended and all the evolution that you gained. Like you guys both worked really, really hard to entertain, to please, to uplift others. All right, let's come into the present. Ten of Cups, the Fool, and the Sun. Look at that. Heck yeah, in the present, they're the love of your life, and it's like, you both feel as though life uh, has just begun for the first time. Even if you are like 50 years old when you guys meet, you'll feel like your life has truly just begun when you met them. Like they are the sun in your world. You are the sun in their world. And this here, the uh, Ten of Cups with the Fool and the Sun, that is a very happy, long-term loving relationship. And you know... Um, we're also in this life uh, needing to be willing to take risks, take big risks. And you might be a little afraid to do that. They might be a little afraid to do that. But when you guys meet each other, that's gone. It's gone. Like you give each other the encouragement to believe in, in yourselves and to really put yourself out. Like, yeah, you guys with the sun famous again, famous again for your talent. And a very, very happy, long life together. Very comfortable, long life together. Like, this is probably the most positive out of um, all of the readings for the present is this one here. And this, uh, with the fool sitting there, this is not a situation where you're going to meet this person and break up. And then come back together. Nope. When you guys meet, it is game on for the rest of your life. It is going to be your true love. And you are going to both push each other out into the spotlight. Um, really uh, expanding that natural gift and ability. And in the future, in this world that looks very interesting. Queen of Wands. Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Wands. So this, uh, you got the Ten of Wands twice, okay, and the Ten of Cups twice. So last life and this life, um, you know, we've put in a lot, a lot of work in the physical as well as the spiritual. And in the future life, you guys are like riding the wave of positive energy, of positive karma, where it's all about love and connection, and it's not about the hard, heavy life challenges and lessons. The Ten of Wands from this lifetime is finally laid down for good in your future lifetime. And with these two Ten of Cups, like true love this lifetime, true love next lifetime, your greatest um, source of strength 
and inspiration is going to be each other and you guys are going to um, experience a lot of this world together and with uh, that queen of uh, wands you both could be sitting in a high position of power in the future in the future life but this love this uh, ten of cups goes from this lifetime into the next lifetime you guys have a great relationship Life is forever changing in accordance with nature's divine will. May we lovingly embrace life's changing seasons and the knowledge that all is as it should be and that love is all there is. And um, this here is talking about all the changes that you and this soulmate will um, be like morphing into this lifetime when once you guys meet. Um, realizing your true worth an ability and talents and then shining that out to the world and making a lot of money at that and it's like you two are on this amazing crazy fun adventure and just picking up right where you left off from last life journey leading into a future that is so different than anything we can fathom on the earth plane today at this time all right, so those are your messages. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care.